Hello everyone. In this video, let's discuss about marketing automation in Odoo 40. So marketing automation is an important application uh, for any type of business that helps to organize different types of marketing campaigns. So Odoo 14 marketing automation helps a business to ensure uninterrupted campaign activity of all business ventures. So it supports the monitoring of campaigns and assesses the impact of the campaigns. So in Odoo, we have a separate module for that. You can see the marketing automation. So from this module, we can create attractive campaign templates and create contact campaigns. So here we can see that uh, we have an overview of all the created campaigns, that is a dashboard, uh, where we can get the list of campaigns and status of each campaign. So it gives give us access to number and name of campaigns and the number of participants for each campaign and the active com uh, campaigns, completed campaigns can also be uh, seen from here. So we have a campaign, uh, currently we have a campaign in new stage that is commercial pro uh, prospection and you can see total then running and completed. So now let's create a new campaign that is uh, for nurturing leads in our company. So we know we have a different module that is used to manage, cust manage customer relationship. So that is CRM. So inside CRM, you can see there are different, uh, you can see in the overview, we have different opportunities. So some of them are in new state, proposition, uh, a qualified one and all. So we know using the CRM module, we can maintain the uh, help. Let's see how we can move them to next stage using marketing automation. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a new campaign. Let's name is it as Nature Leads and can uh, set a target of our campaign. What is the target of a campaign? Campaign. So I'm going to set it as leader opportunity, and then I can set some filtrations on this campaign. Add filtration. So we have added the target as leader opportunity. So leads are opportunity in the stage, then stage equal to new. Okay, so our target is leads are opportunity in new stage. Okay, so here we can see the 23, there are 23 records. So here we can find those opportunities or leads. Okay, here we can also add more nodes and we can also add branch for this filter. Okay, so after adding the filtration, here we can see option to add activities for our campaign. So we can add multiple activities, then child activities. So let me create a new activity here. Okay, then here we, have, here we can choose the activity type, whether it is sending email or performing a server action or sending SMS. So I'm going to send email using this. That is um, my activity is to send email. Then here we can create an email template. So using that template, we send email.
So I'm creating a new one, uh, template for email block. Then I can click create and edit. Okay, so I have set the template. And if you want to change the layout, you can change it again by going to external link. So if you here, you can choose different mail body. I'm choosing the second one. You can say yes. Okay, so you can reply to recipient followers and to specified email address. Okay, so after setting the email template, here we can trigger this email block, this activity every one hour or daily, weekly or monthly. So I, I am going to repeat this, trigger this every hour. After the beginning of campaign or uh, we can do another activity or when the mail is open or not open. Okay, so every one hour after the beginning of campaign, and it is also possible to set an expiry duration for this activity. So it will be canceled after. So if you want to cancel this after eight hours or days, weeks or months, you can use this option. And again, you can add activity filter or, uh, and we can see the applied filter here. So I'm not going to edit this domain. Let me save and close this. Okay. So you can see that activities added here. So this is actually the workflow of the campaign. So the first activity is added and it will be triggered every one hour. And you can see the name of that uh, activity. Then we can delete, edit. And it is also possible to have a graph view for this workflow. That is the activity. And we can also add filtrations. So here we can see there is a graph view showing the success and reject, direction, rejection of this activity. And uh, we can view the details, then total send, total uh, click, emails click, then total percentage replied, uh, bounced. And above also you can find the success rate and rejected. So one activity is added. So in the same way, we can add multiple activities to this campaign, but, and it is also possible to add child activity to an activity. So just click on this option, add child activity. So first of all, you have to save the campaign, then only you can create new, uh, that is child activity. Okay, so after saving, edit. Okay, so here. So you can create child activity in different situation. That is, okay, first one, uh, we can directly add another activity or we can uh, set as if this activity, this, if this email is opened, uh, child activity will be created or we can create a new uh, child activity when the email is not opened or if it is replied or not replied or click not click or bounced. So here I'm going to choose the first, this one, that is if mail is open, can create a child activity. Okay, new, new, new promo. And again, again, set the activity type, whether it, to send SMS or email or server action. So again, I'm going to send email. And I can use, I can use another template. Okay, so here I can create another template. Template for email promo. So I can create an edit or I can make you a user old one. So for this, I'm choosing a different template. I'm saving it. Okay. And we can trigger this every hour, week, or month. Okay. 
So I am again doing this. Okay, let me do it every day. After uh, when the mail opened, and we can see this one is our previous activity that is email block, and for this also we can set an email expiry duration. Okay, now let's save this child activity. So we can see an activity is added here. Child activity email new email promo is added. So it will be triggered every day when the previous email is open okay and again you can add child activity to this activity so for that you have to save the campaign and again come below edit Okay, so for this new email promo, I'm creating a new child activity. When okay, and again for this activity, new email promo, you can create a child activity. So I'm going to create a child activity. So I'm going to create a child activity for this activity, new email promo. When you click this email okay i'm going to add a new activity here move opportunity to qualify okay and you can choose a uh, action type so here now i'm going to choose a second option that is i'm um, going to trigger a server action and here we can add the server action. What to do? So let me create a new server action. Okay, that is move to qualified stage. So let me create and edit this one. So cancel the server action. And here we can see the model is automatically added as a leader opportunity. And from here you can see action to perform or it is update the record. So here we can add the data to write. So I want to change stage in CRM reference. qualified okay now let me save this one okay so we can trigger this activity okay so now i'm going to uh, so the, we, are, we want to trigger this activity every hour after mail is clicked uh, we can see the activities new email promo so when this email is clicked this server action will be triggered. So now we can save and close this and save this campaign. Okay. And here we have an option to start the campaign uh, using this button. But now I'm going to choose a second option that is launch and launch a test. So let's test this campaign. And here we can see there are two templates for this campaign. Okay. So click on launch a test. So currently it is a new state. And here we can choose an existing record or we can create a new one to the test. Okay, so I'm choosing this one, quotation 450 desk. Okay, you can choose this open space design and click continue. So here we can see that uh, opportunity and this one is actually test and it is in running state now and okay so we can see the workflow started date and time and from here we can edit this one 
you want to edit this okay now you can see the first activity that is email block and you can see it is scheduled so if you want to cancel this you can cancel from here or you can just run this activity so when you click on run and email is sent so you can see it is processed the first activity is processed and you can see it is not open click reply or bounce so an email will be received so you can check the email box so you can see uh, the email that is sent that is template for email blog so it is received from michelin so you can see that content of the email so when that email is open automatically this can be processed the next activity can be processed and this status will change to open and you can process you can run this activity that is new email promo and after you have run the this activity that is new email promo and if you have opened that email and click the email that is click the content next activity will be scheduled so here in this case the next activity is a server action that is in order to change the opportunity stage from new to qualified so when this uh, campaign this one is completed then you will be able to see that the opportunity will be moved from new stage to qualified stage So that's how this automation works. So you can see we already have a campaign that is commercial pros uh, prospection. And you can see there are nine running and 16 completed. So total there are 25. So when you click on this running, you can see there are nine running. Okay, so you can again launch a test or start it, start the campaign. And you can see there are 16 completed for this campaign. So you can see for this activity of a free catalog 25 success and for this after seven days this activity there are 14 success and two are rejected and for the final activity you can see message for salesperson 13 success and zero rejected so this is how we make use of this uh, marketing automation to automate the activities and for this, we also have a reporting uh, that shows a link tracker. So you can see link statistics. You can see total number of clicks, the graph and total number of clicks. So currently we don't have any data. Then we have a reporting that shows traces. So you can see total process schedule rejected in count and we can also view this as document id then we have a reporting to view our participants so you can see the uh, total contact running then completed then a leader opportunity running so for this participants reporting uh, we also have a pivot view and list view So this module enables us to generate report on basis of performance of the campaigns created by user. And in short, we can say that this marketing automation, it automates different aspects of marketing. So that's all about uh, this marketing automation in order 14. And if you have any doubts regarding this video, please add your comments below. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any order implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to odoatsybrosis.com.